G'day, Jody Murray here, and um, I've got, I just wanted to share something exciting that happened the other day while I was working with one of my young horses. Um, she's a two-year-old, or nearly two-year-old, Palomino filly, and she's quite skittish, um, a bit more highly strung than the other two um, horses that are in with her of the same age. Anyway, um, I've been studying, um, well not studying, but I've just started a, a new program myself um, and it's called Equine Liberty Sports and the first thing they get you to do with your horse is just be with your horse and um, I found this really interesting because that's all you had to do was just put the horse in a I suppose a controlled environment and just be there with it. If it walked, I, I'd walk. If she stopped, I'd stop. If she looked to the right, uh, wherever she was looking, I would look. If she looked towards me, I'd, um, I'd just look at her and just take a step back. And then if she moved, I moved. Um, and because she is such a, a flighty horse, um, in the program they sort of recommend you just wait till the horse is settled down or whatever, but I wanted to see what would happen using the technique they suggested on a more flightier horse. And the results I found were quite uh, amazing, if I can use that word, because um, we went from... Um, trotting really fast and snorting to eventually she was just walking around me um, and curious about me and and I didn't have to do anything I, I was um, just there with her just wanting to be with her not expecting anything from her no expectations at all it, just to spend really good solid quality time um, getting to know each other but yeah without the um, expectation that I had to make her do something or she had to do something for me she didn't have to do a thing for me and all I had to do was just be there and match match her um, match her movements or and mirror her movements and but it was a bit more than that when she was going around and snorting I'd slow my movements down so that um, I wasn't exactly matching her uh, her reaction responses um, um, and I'd slow my breathing down and when she snorted um, do that snort sound I'd just take a dig, deep breath in myself and just let it out loudly but not in a, a rushed manner but in a relaxing way that just relaxes your body um, and I've only had the one one uh, session with her at this point in time but my daughter who feeds the young horses most of the time noticed a big improvement in this filly um, when she come in for, into her stable for a feed normally she doesn't come into the stables for a feed she waits for the other two and she she was real hawky and that and now she marches in and just waits patiently at a feed bucket. And then this morning I was picking up their poo and um, and she came out to meet me and usually she's very, you know, standoffish, stand back, stiffen up and she come come towards me relaxed and wanting to have a yarn and um, it was really special. So I just wanted to share that and um, have a great day. See ya.